Well, it's another day on the beach. We're out metal detecting. Got the sun coming up. Down here on Daytona Beach. Give you a little pan around and let you see what it looks like down here. We've got all the northern seagulls down. They come down here every winter to try to stay warm. It's cold up north. All right. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. We'll show you as we can. Sand's coming up on the beach pretty fast, and it's been a week since I've been out here, so I really don't know if uh, how much is going to be found. But I'm checking this spot out a little earlier. Uh, it's one of the places where we've dug a quite a few of the silver up over the past uh, four or five weeks, whatever. And uh, sand starts gradually coming up and bears it even deeper beyond the range of the metal detectors. So we'll see what we can do today. Hope you stay with us. All right, it might be the first corn of the morning, so I thought I'd dig it up. It sounds like this could be a maybe a penny, but then it's not very deep, so it's not going to be anything real crazy. Still there. What is it? I see something smaller than a penny. Smaller than a coin. Wonder what that is. Little washer of some type, little copper. Not much. That's not the first corner of the day, so we're gonna have to do this all over again. All right, stay with me now. Well, we may have the first corner of the morning. I've been skunked two or three times, but this is ringing up a good 40. A good 43. That seems to be very deep though, I don't think it's going to... I'd like to see a coin come out though. Not reading more like a penny now, but... I'd like to be surprised. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute, it's got that color to it. Look at that. That's a dime. That's gonna be a silver dime. <laughs> it is. Can't make it out yet. That's yeah, a Roosevelt. First time in the morning, Silva. Now I'll tell you, the last time I've been on the beach has been about a week ago. And uh, a week before that, I was struggling to uh, get two silver dimes to make a, a 150. So you see on the video, I finally got out, found those two silver dimes, but it took me like Seven, hour, seven hours or so to find it. So I waited another week, decided to go back out that same spot, changed coils, put on my stock coil on my CTX, and came out and uh, came out to the same place to uh, struggle to find the two dimes. Now this is with the stock coil. And went back over that area, and that's the place I'm headed to here in just a few minutes. I found eight silvers in that spot that I was the week before. So you never can tell. That is definitely a silver Roosevelt. All right. I'm headed up to that area now and see if I can grid it back off again and see if we can find anything else. First corner of the day. I just hit another target out of this hole right here. And it didn't really sound very good. See what 
What is read now? Twelve forty. But I'm looking at it and I can see around look like it could be a dime. I'm thinking maybe it's going to be something uh, foreign. I don't know. Got the right color to it again. Pick up my detector so it won't get uh, washed away. Put a little water on it. Is that smaller than a dime? No, it is a dime. That's a mercury. You see it? Huh. Guess I might stay in this area and do some more gridding. That is a mercury. So these two this morning put my total silver count up to 160. So yeah, so that's going to be more, more possibilities this other place. But that rang up. That rang up a little under what I thought it would be, but that is definitely a mercury. All right. Oh. All right, stay with me. I'm not done yet. That's two in the pocket. Well, out of that hole right there, I ended up with a 12-12. And I see something around right there, so... That's got to be a nickel. Yeah, nickel. No. Oh, it's going to be another. What is that? Is it a charm? Or is this a piece of junk? Well, whatever it was, just crumbled a piece of it. Be a little more gentle with it. It looks like it could be uh, maybe man it broke that piece off. I hate it. Looked like a might have been a scout piece. Like a three leaf clover. I don't know. I messed it up whatever it was. I might try to find that piece that I broke off. It's real brittle. But that does look like something possibly to do with the scouts. It's got like a a pin or something on the back here. You see what I mean? Without that piece broken off right there. Looks like a three-leaf clover or some type. I'm going to see if I can scan the ground and find that little piece again. And uh, once I get it cleaned off, I might be able to attach it back on. That'll be it, the way it sits, just like that right there. All right. Maybe I can let you know what it is later, a little bit later on. There's a nickel sound. All right. We're going to move it on. Potential for another another coin anyway. <coughs> See what this one is. Bring it up real low. Mid tone. Might have it that time, I don't know. Reading 29. Don't know. Right in there somewhere. Twenty nine. I see something right there. 29.
Want your green copper. And it is eating up too, buddy. Look how bad that coin's eating up. Look how thin it is. That's how come it's read 29 and not 30, 32. Not much left of it. All right, I'm gonna grid this area out before we leave it. All right, I got a coin here, and I think I'm, I got an idea. I'm gonna try something new. Instead of having the uh, headphones on, I got my little, uh, what do you call it, the WM10 right next to the phone. So all I'm gonna do is just unplug the speaker, the headphones, so maybe you can hear the audio better. Now I got a coin right down here. I think a coin. Sounds like a coin. Probably just gonna be a copper. So we're gonna try this out. If it works pretty good, I'll get me a little pouch because I just got it kind of pinned to me by a strap. If that thing falls in this salt water, it's toast. So we'll try this and see if it works. See? Kind of disappeared on me, so I'm going to take a couple more scoops out of it. May not be nothing at all, but anyway, we can check the audio a little bit better. Doing it like this. I don't know. on this back side then I gotta keep my eye on that at uh, WM make sure it don't fall out <laughs> saying it's still there some type of little pouch on this strap right here would work out real good Still reading up. Might have it that time. No. Got a lot of iron grunt in there too, so. It's probably not going to be anything at all, but at least I can try this out a little bit. <clears throat> they do make a little holder for these WM, so I need to find out what I've done with it. That might be all I need to do. Then after I find the target, I can strictly iron now. Try a couple more scoops anyway. Let them get more nervous when we'll get the water in front of me like that. The wrong move, that thing will slip. All right, it's just not in this scoop right here. I'm about to count it out as I'm being iron. All right, I'm gonna plug back in so I don't don't mess up. See, this, this is what I'm talking about. I know they got a little clip holder that goes on these, but if that was ever to get in that salt water, it'd be toasted in a minute. At least I've got the cord to the headphones connecting to it, just like that. And I got it slid in my pocket so it won't never come out. So I'll rig that up maybe for the next, next out and see how that works out. All right, I'm gonna get this hole covered back up. I know the tide's gonna come up and fill it in, but you have the haters out there. All right, stay with me. All right, got another coin here. Pretty sure it's gonna be a coin this time. And I moved my uh, WM up next to the camera, so here. 33 and it's not moving so I'm pretty sure it's going to be a coin, copper coin. 
Way too low to be sure, bro. down the numbers. Let's see what it's going to end up being though. That is a half of one of them uh, see, inserts to screw in a bolt and expands so it doesn't pull out and it's lead most of the time or pot metal. Some crazy something like that. So anyway, at least to be able to hear it like this. All right, on to the next. Well, I just dug up this object right here. I don't know what it is. So I thought I better turn the camera on. It, it's a pretty good size, whatever it is. Probably gonna be a, like a washer or something. Definitely something. Big brass. Copper. Uh, it might be just an expansion ring off of something. See copper showing through right there. Rope. Probably hit it. I don't know. I think it's just a uh, what I call an expansion ring off of something. Copper. Sounded good anyway. All right, thought I'd show it to you. Oh, and by the way, I had my uh, detector on uh, auto, and I usually out here run it all the way up to 30. So, since I turned it on, I hit this, so I don't know what I might have been missing this morning, so I'm going to take it a little bit slower. All right, stay with me. Well, I got me another coin here, I think, 42 possible silver so I thought I'd undo my uh, headphones so you can hear it hear the signal for what go looking for that very well could be a silver coin It's just going to be a greenie. It's green and it's copper. See the copper showing through it? I wonder if it's going to be a wheat pity. Yeah, I see the reef. I think I can clean that one up enough on the tail. There, weedy. One little bit. I can still still see the reef on it. One cent. It's close to being a dime anyway. All right, cool. Maybe we can get some more coins here. Stay with me. All right, possible another coin. I'm it so you can hear it. Well, it's ringing up 43, but it's uh, could be. Oh, I think I see what it is. I think I see something anyway.
38, I thought uh, I seen a uh, fishing weight down the bottom of the hole. 39. Yep. What we call the pyramid. Big sacred. But that's a good sign. Boy, it's got a point on that one. This tug right here. It's uh, bounced around quite a bit, so I don't know what to make of it. Best the way to find out is dig it up. Got a little iron grunt to it. Check it out. Ooh, it's got a good number to it now. around different numbers. Hitting 29 now. Had a helicopter go by. It'll be something small so that's good. I don't know. Seems like it's in this little clump right here, whatever it is. Maybe it's not on that front. So it's going to be something small, I guess. Well, there it is. It's not a coin. Where is it going to be? A bullet? Piece of lead. Now, I'll tell you what it is. It's a brass nut. There's an oxygen around it. Brass, that's the reason it was ringing up so good. Alright, well, at least there's some targets out here. That's what I wanted. Got a fairly good target right here. Forty-two a while ago, forty-four now. Now thirty-eight. I think I got it out. I think I see a coin right there. It's a greenie. I don't know if I've mentioned not the reason the copper coins come out green because the Oxidation from the, from the copper. We've seen, you know, copper jewelry turn green and all kinds of stuff like that. But that's definitely going to be a copper. Look at it a little bit so I can tell if it's going to be a wheat, wheat sin or not. Good possibility.
Get rid of your tail. Copper coins come out green like that because the uh, oxidization where the silver coins comes out gray black. That's the silver content in the coins leaching out. I don't know, we'll have to clean that one up a little bit more, but I bet you think that's probably a probably another copper wheat scent. Yeah, I started scratched on the wrong side. I think that's part of the bust right there, but we'll check it out later. Got real windy in the last hour. Hope you can hear me okay. Got another potential target here. Got good color to it. Ah, it's copper. Was that little rusty color to it? I thought maybe. And it's uh, it's a memorial. Keep looking. Real windy now. I moved locations, changed the detectors, got the old greedy boy on there. And I got what I think might be a silver. If I can find it. It out. Where is it? There it is. It's a dime, but it's clad. Clad dime. I got another target here. Don't think it's going to be high enough to be a silver, but I'm pretty sure it's a coin. Got a little rust spot to it. Let's get it up, take a look at it. Uh, I believe it's going to be a greeny. Yep. It's a little copper. It's shining through right there a little bit. Copper. Glad to have it though. Corn's starting to get a little scarce out here now. See that little rust that is showing short right there? I'm thinking it could have been a silver coin, but 
numbers wasn't really quite high enough for it. All right, maybe we can find a couple more right here before we have to go. Tide's coming up pretty fast. Okay, short roundup for today's hunt. Uh, got there at daylight and uh, hunted a couple of places that we've hunted before and found quite a bit of silver in it. So I thought it'd be best to go back over those areas again. <coughs> got uh, a little bit of collab. Not much of anything. I do know that's a, that's a wheat penny there because I scraped it off. And uh, I think that was the memorial that I, uh, yep, yeah, the memorial that I scraped. Went to another spot and, and thought I had another silver, but it would end up to be a modern clad dime. So, yep, yeah, you know where that works. Uh, a few bits and pieces here and there. Let's see, that looks like uh, one of those swimsuit uh, buckles, uh, a brass nut, 22 caliber, part of the Three to screw. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. The little gasket of some type, electrical terminal, and a fishing weight. I did even manage to pull up the two silvers today. That there is a 1958 Roosevelt. This one I'm going to end up putting in electrolysis because I did get a date off of it. It is a 1919 Mercury dime. So. I don't know what the mint mark is. That's very important. So we'll have to, you know, check that out a little bit closer. Might be a, might be a, a, a you know, one of those uh, expensive dated coins. I don't know. Oh yeah, that that object there that I pulled up. I can't make out anything on it. it just got a, a funny looking shape to it. But I think it was a pen of some type. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth cleaning or not because it did break. So anyway, uh, this was today's hunt. We're going to get out tomorrow and probably take the uh, bikes out and see if we can find some low spots. And uh, hopefully I'll make a video of that. All right. Jimmy Crossbones and we're out of here.